Mayor Eric Adams is in Mexico today. The mayor is on his trip through Latin America. It's all in hopes of convincing asylum seekers to not come to New York. So remember when NYC Mayor Eric Adams told the world that he welcomed Central and South American migrants coming from Texas to New York about a year ago? Here's a clip if you forgot. As the mayor of the city of New York, I don't, you know, weigh into immigration issues, border issues. Uh, I have to provide services for families that are here, and that's what we're going to do, and that's what we our responsibility uh, as a city, you know, I'm proud that this is a right to shelter state and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, this is horrific when you think about uh, what uh, the governor uh, is doing, the governor of Texas, uh, after a month of traveling across the border, placing on the bus with no direction to come here uh, to New York. And New York is a city that has always represented the democratic values and the values of our city, of showing our compassion. That's what we're doing today. Well, he has changed his tune dramatically, and I mean dramatically. Now, the Texas governor was recently in New York, and he called out New York politicians for their support of open borders and said Dems in New York, their true issue wasn't with him for sitting up the migrants, but it's with Joe Biden for his open border policies. Here's what he had to say. You know, there, there's one solid piece of advice. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says New York politicians should tell their fellow Democrat, President Joe Biden, to seal the border. They must prevail upon their president for more than just money. They need a change in policy. Let me be clear. I will not be taking advice from Greg Abbott. Abbott spoke at the Yale Club this morning, notably just steps from the city's migrant epicenter, the Roosevelt Hotel Intake Center. Don't come to New York and grandstand. Let's Abbott's arrival in trust. Midtown comes uh, more than a year after his like? buses started arriving at the Port Authority. No one has ever put on a bus against their will. But what is going on in New York is calm and organized compared to the real chaos of what we see on the border, not every day, but every hour. Abbott, I don't know what I want to say about the accuracy of his buses and all that other kind of stuff. I hope that when he's here, he can get a glimpse of what it really looks like to deal with the humanitarian crisis in a humane way. But lest anyone suggest that Texas's efforts are inhumane to put barbed wire at the border and keep drugs and terrorists from entering, Abbott referenced the recent New York tragedy, a Bronx baby dead in daycare. Let's talk about what is inhumane. What's inhumane is a one-year-old child dying in New York. Now, Mayor Adams, who was once calling for migrants to come to New York and welcome them, has done a 180, declaring that the influx of migrants will, quote, destroy New York City. Let me tell you something, New Yorkers. The migrant crisis taking on a new tone. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Remember the governor early December, she said that not only did she want migrants to come, but she welcomed them with open arms. Here's the clip. We want people to come here, despite where they came from or despite the circumstances that drove them to this country and to this, and to this state. We see, say you are welcome here. We are welcome with open arms and we'll work to keep you safe. We'll not only house you, but we'll protect you. And the richness of the culture and the diversity and the food and the restaurants that we know are going to be coming uh, because of these efforts are, are, are beyond measure. It's just it's an extraordinary part of our story. And it's woven into the story of New York and it makes us more vibrant. But now the governor has also changed her tune and said that, hey, the border is too open and needs to be closed. This can be done in a bipartisan way, comprehensive immigration reform. Where what specifically quotas, do you want? Numbers people can come in. Well, we want them to have a limit on who can come across the border. It is too open right now. Uh, people coming from all over the world are finding their way through, simply saying they need asylum. And the majority of them seem to be ending up in the streets of New York. And that is a real problem for New York City. 125,000 newly arrived individuals. So now we have this interesting issue where both the New York City mayor and the New York State governor are not blaming Republicans for the crisis, but they're blaming Biden. Here are the clips. 
The national government has turned its back on New York City. The New York City mayor, Eric Adams, openly reprimanding President Biden, a rare move from a fellow Democrat on the national stage. Every service in the city is going to be impacted by the asylum seeker crisis. This is in the lap of the president of the United States. The president of the United States can give us the ability to allow people to work. Well, it's a combination. It's a combination. There's a, there's a multi-pronged issue here. The president and the White House has failed New York City on this issue. I read some of the editorial pages and some of your stories. This can't be costing that much money. So that adds to the flavor that the, the Washington is feeling. Oh, it can't be that bad. Now, here's also the governor of New York also calling out Biden for his lack of an immigration policy. This crisis originated with the federal government and it must be resolved through the federal government. The borders and decisions about who can work are solely determined by the federal government. And since July of 2022, in our first meeting with the president, Mayor Adams and I have championed the idea of a federal designation that would allow the individuals already here in New York the ability to work, to support themselves and their families. The mayor and I said then, and in countless meetings with Congress, the White House, cabinet members, at rallies with labor, press conferences, and working with business, what we've said all along is just let them work and help us out financially. So you think all of that happened and Biden would maybe change direction, but no, Biden took the political approach and blamed the mayor and governor for having bad policies. The administration blames Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul for the migrant mess in New York. Nate Foy has been following the back and forth. Now, Nate, the administration in Washington, Biden, blames New York's mayor, city, and New York's governor for this. That's exactly That's right. That's the blame game. Yeah, it, it's been a bit of a back and forth after receiving a lot of criticism, including from Governor Hochul. Uh, just in the past week, the Biden administration is now fighting back. A team from the Department of Homeland Security recently evaluated New York City's migrant response. And take a look at what they found. A DH statement, DHS statement reads in part, quote, the team has provided recommendations for improvements, including data collection, case management, and increased communication with migrants on work authorizations. Now, currently, the mayor of New York, Mayor Adams, is going to take matters into his own hands, and he's headed to Mexico to tell potential migrants that, hey, NYC is at capacity. The city is closed. Wednesday, Mayor Adams flies to Mexico for a four-day trip that includes Ecuador, Colombia, and the Darien Gap, a dangerous stretch of jungle that many asylum seekers pass through on their way to the U.S. I want to give the people of those uh, areas a real story of what is happening in New York City. The trip is billed as a local media blitz to spread the message south of the border that New York, the city Adams himself calls the greatest city on earth, is not an ideal place to seek asylum. We're going to tell them uh, that Coming to New York doesn't mean you're going to stay in a five-star hotel. Now, no one with the brain thinks this is actually going to work. So, you know, even listen, listen to this clip. Well, do you think that the mayor's trip to Central and South America is going to have an effect on how many people are coming to New York City? No. But now the mayor is going to push the message that NY is closed and if you come to America, you're welcome, but just don't come to New York. Meanwhile, Mayor Adams is on his trip through Latin America with a message to asylum seekers. He says he wants them to know the reality of what they'd face here at a city at capacity. Adams is in Mexico today. He heads to Quito, Ecuador tomorrow, and then to Bogota, Colombia. He plans to follow in the steps many asylum seekers take as they make the journey to the United States. So let's just call it what it is. The mayor of New York is essentially taking a Latin American vacation, right? He's not convincing anyone not to come to New York City because the reality is that he can go to Mexico all he wants, but the border being open is still going to be the problem. And people, when they cross that border into the United States, they are coming to friendly New York, the place where they said they wanted them to be. And it's funny because New York State wanted them to come, right? 
Here's a clip again of the governor. We want you to come. We want people to come here, despite where they came from or despite the circumstances that drove them to this country and to this, and to this state. We see, say you are welcome here. We are welcome with open arms and we'll work to keep you safe. We'll not only house you, but we'll protect you. And the richness of the culture and the diversity and the food and the restaurants that we know are going to be coming uh, because of these efforts are, are, are beyond measure. It's just it's an extraordinary part of our story. And it's woven into the story of New York and it makes us more vibrant. Now they've seemingly done a 180 and saying, hey, we still want you to come to America, but go somewhere else. When you come to New York, we're not going to have more hotel rooms. We don't have capacity. So we have to also message properly that we're at our limit. If you're going to leave your country, go somewhere else with this. If you're going to leave your country, go somewhere else. Now, this to me is the problem. You know, they want them still to come to America, but they want them to go someplace else. They want the migrants to be someone else's problem, not their own, which I think is hypocritical and ridiculous. Obviously, the problem is border security. The problem is open borders. And we need to fix that problem so no one has a problem. And I think it's kind of selfish to say, hey, we want you still to come and be somebody else's problem. Just don't be our problem. That's ridiculous. Listen, people, reality is one hell of a drug and I think New York City is drowning in it. But let me know how you feel in the comment section. Let me know if you think the mayor is going to head to Latin America and change some migrants' minds on whether, hey, I'm not gonna go to New York. I'm gonna go to Idaho, right? It's not happening, we all know. But let the mayor dream the way he wants to dream. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. My name is Nathan Lawyer, and I'll see you next time. Peace.